everyone, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and welcome back to another Foundation Friday where I review foundations and let you know how well they work on oily skin. So if you're tired of walking around looking like you just took a nap in a pan of grease, I'm here to be your oily guinea pig so you don't waste any more time or money. Now today's victim, I mean foundation of choice, is by Clinique. This is Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. I have never tried this before. This will definitely be a first impressions look for you guys, but I'm very excited to try it. Now the reason that I chose this Clinique foundation is because I wanted to buy a high-end foundation, but wasn't really in the mood to spend the high-end prices. And this one's actually only $26. So yes, $26 is more than a drugstore foundation, but it is a lot cheaper than most high-end foundations that are sold at Sephora. This foundation claims to be oil controlling makeup that absorbs shine, so skin looks fresh, flawless all day. Perfect for all but the driest skins. I'm actually glad that it says that. I don't really like when foundations say like, oh, it's for all skin types, when you know that ain't true. So they're saying if you have really dry skin, this might be a little too matte for you. But for us oily skin girls, it may have a shot. But before I tell you any more about this foundation, let me show you exactly how I applied it to my face. Starting on a freshly moisturized face per usual, let's go ahead and open this box. And this is number 21 Cream Caramel. Let's do this. I will be using my Veil Mineral Primer by Hourglass because this is my new fave. And I just know it gets the job done. Now I'm grabbing my Damp Beauty Blender. I'm going to apply some right on here. Hope this is a good color. So here's my color. It's already looking kind of orange. I did get a color match at Sephora, but I feel like the guy was like kind of in a rush. Mm, we'll see. I'll make it work. But it is, this color is kind of orangey for me. Well, maybe not, now that I blend it in. Maybe I'm just an orange person. Maybe I'm just an Oompa Loompa. So even on the packaging, it says that it's supposed to be lightweight. It's not giving a lot of coverage. It says sheer to moderate coverage. So this one pump is definitely my sheer coverage. So let me just do my whole face with this sheer look and then I'll add more to see how buildable it is. Okay, so here's my first layer. It's a good lightweight coverage. Definitely not full coverage, but I am gonna add a little bit more to like my problem areas to see if we can cover them up. That's better. Getting into the medium coverage now. But hey, that's what the packaging says, so I'm not gonna be mad at it. I'm not gonna buy a lightweight makeup and expect full coverage. Like, you're just setting yourself up to be angry. So I'm gonna keep my foundation at this level right here. I know that my powder and my concealer will help cover up anything else I wanna cover. But now I'm gonna complete the rest of my makeup. Ta-da! So now that I have my full face on, I'm really happy with the results. By the time I put on my powder, my concealer, I was able to get the more full coverage look that I want, but without having a very heavy, cakey, or creamy foundation. As you can see, the packaging looks very similar to the L'Oreal Infallible, I would say, because it has the twist top at the bottom, and you can squeeze out the product, which I do like. And I love that it actually has a clear packaging. Something like the Infallible has like a sheer coating over it, so you can't really see the true color of the foundation when you buy it. So although this is sold at high-end stores, so you can get color match, which is great, so you don't waste your money on the wrong color, I love being able just to look at it and know exactly what color I'm purchasing. Once again, I did use the Cream Caramel number 21, but there are a total of 20 different foundation shades to choose from, six of them being darker than my skin tone. I bought my foundation from Sephora, but you could also buy it from Macy's, Nordstrom's, Bloomingdale's, Ulta, any of those more high-end places should carry this foundation. Now, although I love the finishing result right now, the main test that you guys know that I love to test out is how long will it actually stay matte throughout the day. So it is currently 11.30 a.m. I'll be back at the end of the day and we'll see how long this foundation really lasts. And I'm back, it is now 7.30 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of eight hours. A full day to see if I really stayed matte like it claimed, and this is where I am. So I'm not, you know, extremely matte. I usually always get shiny right around here. My forehead, my chin, so I get in shiny in my normal shiny spots. But I will say that the coverage 
is still there. So not as mad as I wanted it to be. I was hoping it would be a little bit better, but let's see how it looks after I blot. So I always blot using some oil absorbing sheets. These are by Clean and Clear, but you can get any brand you want. They all do the same thing. And now we're gonna blot. blotted this is how much oil came off nothing too crazy I really like how it looks now I probably got shiny around maybe five hours which is usually when I would blot maybe even three but now that I blotted I think it still looks really good I would definitely continue to wear this even though it is over eight hours and I'm happy with the overall results if you have used the Clinique stay matte foundation as well please leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts if you want to see me continue to use this foundation on a daily basis, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. And come back next week. I post new foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair videos on Sunday. So give me a thumbs up and subscribe and push that little bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.